Good morning. I'm Steve Amato with Honeywell. I'm the uh, distributor representative for commercial. Uh, I work with the distributors in Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, Western Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Uh, so I cover a small area and uh, I'm on the road a lot. So the best way to get a hold of me, cell phone or email. Because if I'm in a meeting like this, it starts to get boring when you're sitting there emails. And uh, so if you need to get a hold of me, it's the best way. I said I work with distributors. Uh, Scott Dixon is our contractor rep. You probably run into him occasionally. He works at the contractors in the same area. And Mark Danberg works at our uh, contractors and the uh, uh, consulting engineers and end users. So uh, the three of us are a team. And uh, you'll see us coming through your case with Mark works out of uh, Detroit area. We cover the same territory. I work out of Cincinnati. Been with Honeywell 36 years. That makes it means I'm old. Uh, and uh, my counterpart in the residential side would be Tom Georgia. You probably know him pretty well. Uh, so uh, uh, with that. Uh, I want to go over just some of the tools that we have to offer because there are so many out there that a lot of people don't even know they exist. So I wanted to cover some of them, show you how to use them. And I put them on disc for you on, on, on that uh, record, the uh, CD. And it has the, uh, uh, these are the ones I downloaded from the Honeywell customer Honeywell website. And they do get updated when the prices get updated. Now. Uh, I'm going to start with, uh, uh, there, there's one on here called the Fast Track Tool that's brand new, and there's a little training session for that in here, and also the Valve Estimating Tool and the Fast Track are very similar. In fact, the, in fact, the Fast Track probably is easier to use, so I'm going to switch to that one. And uh, also there's a damper tool for putting together damper pricing. and. and, and uh, and the uh, uh, BFD. I want to start with the BFD one, variable frequency drives, because that's the uh, uh, easiest one to use here. And, and is that better? Is that better? Has anyone seen this tool before? Yeah, actually, we have. Okay. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, it only takes a couple seconds here to show it. The, uh, uh, we have four different models. Actually, it's three families of, of drives, four different types. There's the compact drive, which is a small drive. Uh, it's a half horsepower to about seven and a half. And 460 volt. And uh, that's called the uh, Smart BFD Compact. Then there's the Smart VFD, that goes up to about 150 horse uh, in that range, and uh, from one horse to 150, or half horse to 150. Uh, the Smart VFD and a bypass, so if you want the bypass on it, bypass is a kind of funny. You know, we, when I was in training about 10 years ago on drives, we had just brought them into this country, and the uh, we, we brought our, our guy, expert from England in to, to train us, we had no idea what the drive was, and uh, he was. They had been using the, the Vacon or Vacon drives uh, for years, and we labeled Honeywell. And we've been starting when they started uh, the company. We, we were one of the first customers in, in Europe, and uh, we we're in the class. And he's talked about all the wonderful things the drive does, and then one of our students said, "Well, whose bypass do you use?" And he looked. And he looked and said, bypass? Yeah, yeah, you know, if the drive goes, you hit the switch and you, he said, why in the world would you use a bypass? He just, he couldn't, he couldn't fathom it. The United States is the only country, Canada does some, but the United States is about the only country that actually uses bypasses on their drives. It's the dumbest thing, you know, to, to them, because if you hit the bypass switch, what have you done? You bypass the drive completely, now you've wasted the energy. You've also taken all your safeties out because the safeties are in the drive. So you can fry the motor. 
you had a phase loss, but you don't know why that drive should be bypassed, you shouldn't be hitting the switch. <clears throat> you don't know when it's locked out, whether it's a bad by a drive or bad. Now, in the old days, the drives are not that reliable. They're more mechanical again. Yeah. Now they're pretty solid. And drives are so much cheaper now that the bypass actually adds a considerable amount to the price. We've encouraged people to say, you know what? If you're going to put five drives in, put a spare. It's cheaper than a bypass in each drive. And you got to replace it anyway if it drives bad. And I keep a spare in the, in the back. Get a three-year warranty, put the spare on, and send the other one back for warranty. But, you know, and you'd save money. Uh, your safety is in the, in the drive. But, but we have bypasses available for those who want them, because they ask for them. There's a BFD core. That's our new line. Uh, the, the, the Smart Drive is made in the U.S. now. It's a, it's a company from Finland, but it's made in Pennsylvania. And so if you need a drive that's made in USA, the Smart Drive is it. The VFD Core is a low-cost drive. It's a nice drive. It's an industrial drive, but it, it's a, a, a drive made in uh, Taiwan. It, it's a typical Asian drive that means it doesn't have all the filters that the European drives do. We have on, on the Smart Drive and on the NXS, which is the high end, we're, we still make, we still have those, but they're, uh, we don't stock them like we used to because they're just not, they're too expensive. People don't like the price, you know, 10 or 20 percent higher than the other, the other drives. Uh, the Smart Drive has uh, filters in it, the NXS has, has filters, but it's uh, AC filters, a little different design, uh, big models. Uh, and the, uh, the, the core doesn't have it filters until it gets to 50 cores. Typical age, uh, lower cost. Uh, they don't have the requirements for noise and filtering that they do in, in, in Europe, so they, uh, they don't have those on their drives. Now, under uh, 50 horse filtering is still important. If you've got to put one drive on, what a filter does is it keeps the noise from affecting things in the building. It's a high frequency filter and there's a low frequency filter, you know, the harmonic filters. And the low frequency keeps it from damaging your AC current. If you put four or five drives on the building, you start getting noise transmitted back onto your power line from the frequency that it generates. And, and a drive will, uh, may affect your computer, may affect other electronics in the building. If it's a hospital, you definitely don't want to use that. Who knows what it does to the heart lung machines and things like that, but uh, uh, you want to make sure you have filters. But in a, typically, you put one drive in, the equipment room, who cares, filters or not. Above 50, you, you need it because it does make a lot of noise, you know, electrical noise. High frequency, of course, would affect your uh, radios, and things like that, uh, and that's filtered out. And the uh, smart drive and the NXS, we have filters in those, the whole range, except under one one. Who makes the NXS? Uh, that would be the one. Same as the smart drive. And, uh, so if I'm, I'm picking a drive, I just click on this uh, drop-down box here, and I say I want to use a smart drive, HVAC, voltage, let's say it's 480 volt. And of course, 480 volt means you can go down to 460, uh, up to 500. And you just tell it what voltage you're using. Horsepower, let's pick a nice small one, like a 30 horse something that would do your home heating system. And uh, we'll grab a NEMA 1 enclosure. NEMA 1 is the uh, rating for a enclosure. That means you can't put your hands on the high voltage. You can poke at it, but nothing's going to happen. Okay. Uh, NEMA 12, protection from dust. It protects the drives from dust. You're on your own. But uh, if, if there's dust in the atmosphere and so on, you, you uh, factory or whatever you want NEMA 12. NEMA 3R is made for outside. Uh, it's weatherproof. The, uh, the issue with NEMA 3R is you may need to have a cooling system in it or a heating system. I think some of them come now, I'm not sure if ours are, it's come standard with a heater in it now. So if you're mounting it outside, it's below zero, you need to heat up that drive. And then the options, uh, in this case here, drive alone is the only option we have.